and welcome back to Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner and today we have a modern classic cocktail. Uh, this cocktail just kind of shot way up the list in popularity recently. It's infinitely riffable. It's been done by so many of the top cocktail bars that you know we would be remiss if uh, we didn't make one. Now um, We'll do some riffs of this in future episodes, but today I really wanted to focus on kind of the classic, um, with one small change, of course. Not enough that I'd call it a riff, um, but a substitution of ingredients just based on uh, supporting our local guys. So, let's get started. This is the Paper Plane. Now, you've probably heard of the Paper Plane, and if you haven't, um, then we're happy to be the first ones to introduce you. This is a delicious cocktail, and like I said, it's really infinitely riffable. You can swap out ingredients so many ways to create new combinations, and they're almost always going to work. So, let's get started. This is another three quarter ounces of everything cocktail, which makes it super easy. So, uh, we're gonna use Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel for our bourbon. Uh, this is a really delicious bourbon. It recently hit shelves here in Utah, so I figured why not? Let's give it a shot. And hair more there. There we go. So three quarter ounces of our bourbon. We're gonna do three quarter ounces of Aperol. Um, Aperol is a lot like Campari, but it's much, much, much less bitter. Still kind of grapefruit based, but it's not going to dry your mouth out quite like Campari does. So we're going to go with three quarters ounce of Amaro. Now the traditional paper plane calls for Amaro Nonino. We can't get that here in Utah, um, and a lot of the Amaros that we can get um, are kind of boring, but we're very fortunate to have a local distillery um, who makes excellent Amaros. So I'm going to be using their Box Death Hollow Amaro. This came out this year. Um, it's kind of rhubarb forward and very earthy, and it's a great stand-in for the Nonino. And then three quarter ounces of lemon juice. Just gonna throw some ice in our tin here. And on the floor. Good shake. Now you'll notice that there's no simple syrup in this cocktail, um, which is rare. For something that we put in a cocktail shaker. So all the sugar is going to be provided by our Amaro and our Aperol. And of course bourbon. Bourbon as whiskeys go is a sweeter whiskey. Just because it's made from corn. And for garnish, uh, we'll throw a little lemon peel on here as one of my blood oranges decides to uh, migrate. Not a very big lemon swath, but it'll do. We're just gonna express this over the drink and kind of slide it in. So this is the paper plane. Really, really, really delicious. Um, the lemon nose really helps get you prepared for how much citrus is going on here. Um, the Aperol is very forward. 
Um, and even though it's not very sweet, I mean it's sweet-ish on its own, the bourbon really brings all the sweetness to this drink. Um, and then it's brought back down to earth by our rhubarb in the Amaro. There's a reason this is a classic. It's delicious. Really, I could drink these all day. Um, and you can see how easy it would be to just swap ingredients around. You know, swap out bourbon for scotch, or rum, or rye, uh, maybe even gin. You know, all of those things would work if you didn't change anything else. There's a million Amaros on the market, and depending on where you live, changing the Amaro could be a big deal. Um, you know, here we're fortunate enough to have some local guys who do it really well. Um, but if you live, say, in California or, you know, somewhere on the East Coast, you have access to a lot more Amaros than we do really easily. Um, you know, if you want more bitter in your drink, you could easily swap out the Aperol for Campari. Or you could throw in something, you know, like Leopold Brothers, if you're maybe from Colorado or somewhere who can get those. Um, but yeah, just such a perfectly balanced drink. It's really simple to make, and there's a reason why it's kind of become a bartender's favorite all across the country. So, if you decide to try it, uh, and I hope you do, uh, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Um, or what you changed, you know, to make it your own. Um, also, you can check out our Teespring store, there's a link down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We've got tons of awesome content and tons more uh, planned for the future. So uh, we hope to see you again. And until next time, keep the spirit.